I'm gonna say one thing, right? I have been dying to test these three drivers up against each other. The Cobra LS, tailor-made QI10 LS model. And then what I've always said is probably the most unforgiving driver on the market or has been in previous years, Callaway's Triple Diamond. Now this is the AI Paradigm Smoke. Now, the reason I'm excited about this video, I tested each and every one of these drivers individually. I pretty much love them, but what I haven't done right now, or up to this point until right now, test them Get up it. against each other. So, by actually putting to the test what we would say, and what the brands say, as the most, well, longest, fastest drivers they make. Because if you notice, right, every single one of these drivers has the CG or a lot of the weights up behind the head. And that's why they're the least forgiving, but on the caveat to that, why they should produce the most ball speed. Now, before you get in the comments and say, Alex, right, why haven't we got Titleist in there? Why haven't we got PXG in there? Why haven't we got Mizuno's new driver for this year in there? Well, for one very good reason. These three right here are the only ones that are new this year in the low spinning category. Dark Speed LS, QI10 LS, and the AI Smoke Triple Diamond. <laughs> I have no idea which one's gonna come out on top. As I say, when I've tested them individually, I've loved them. I can't wait to put these to the test. I'm gonna hit five drives with each. We're gonna set a fairway. We're gonna look at the ball speed. We're gonna look at the total distance. Now, I'm saying the perfect. Obviously, there are some apprehensions in here that may come out when I hit them. It may not. But without further ado, let's start putting these to the test. I have no idea which one I want to start with here, but I know one thing. I want to try this one last. That is the triple diamond driver, just purely because I know it's been one of the most unforgiving drivers, but probably one of the longest for golfers in the last few years. By the way, if you just think I'm talking absolute rubbish, let me know down in the comments what your opinion, if you're gaming this and you're like, Alex, this thing is class. So what I'm also going to do, because I actually listen to your comments down below is I'm going to put the same shaft in every single one of these drivers. But before I show you what shaft, and by the way, it's pretty damn cool. Let's just set a fairway, right? We need a fairway. So we're going to use the black box on the right as our right hand side. And also then we're going to use the far left flag. Hopefully you can see that and I'm not in the way, but that's going to be our fairway. So when I'm hitting these shots, numbers we're looking for are around that well, actually, fully enough, we're gonna try this one first. And the numbers I'm looking for are gonna be around that 2,500 spin, around hopefully 110 ball speed. But what I will demand from each and one of these drivers, I'm being honest, if I don't get around 160 ball speed, it's not something that I would ever consider changing and popping in the bag this year. Right, I'm pretty nervous now. I just feel like I put myself under, <laughs> well, I guess unnecessary pressure. The nervous uh, tighten your glove moment. Okay, just need to change the shaft and pop it in. So I snuck into Scottsdale. Sounds like I, well, it's not probably not the right word. I didn't rob this shaft. I spoke to them nicely and they gave me this to try in this video. It's an Acra L, I mean, is it a TZ? I mean, guys, come on, help me down in the comments if you've seen one of these shafts before, because simply I haven't seen this before. And one thing is you are not going to miss me with it. So I've got it set on neutral, so you can see that. I've also got this set at nine degrees. I will make sure that all nine degrees all got the same shaft, just so we've got the fairest test possible. Right, let's get the first three away, then we'll look at the data after three, and then hit the final two with, I'm gonna start with this one, the QI10 LS. Right, here we go. Now it's actually a while since I tested this driver. When I first tested it, I put it up against the QI10 Max and just the QI10 driver, which sits in the middle of the range. And I was very, very impressed with this in terms of, I'm not gonna say it was forgiving, but it was a lot easier to hit straighter than I thought it was going to be. Right, okay, let's hit three away here. I'm interested to see what the shaft's gonna do. Will it be different to how it performed originally? Well, it feels very heavy. It might ruin my game, the shaft, but it's just cool to try, isn't it? At least it's fair. It's not far off what I would use, but it feels like I've got an absolute poker. I mean, come on, you've got to give it the test, haven't we? Because that looks a bit more flexy than it feels. Anyway, right, here we go. First one away. Remember those numbers I said? What I'm going to demand from this driver. First ball away. That is absolutely down that middle. I split the fairway. I just set. Right, first ball away. I wasn't hit three, but I'm actually 
quite pleasantly surprised. Total 282 yards. Let's find some of the numbers here for us because it's all well and good just knowing the distance, but I said I wanted at least 160 ball speed. That's pretty damn good, isn't it? 164, first drive away. I'm gonna anticipate it's gonna get longer. I have warmed up just to make this clear. Oh my God, where have I got that speed from? 114 clubhead speed. Here's me thinking this shaft would ruin my game. First one away. Let's just start hitting some more now. Let me get that back on total. Now, were you as surprised as I was on that drive? I mean, I have a look at that again. Like it was quite low, it's quite penetrating, but it still rose. It looked like it had a good amount of spin on it, which is exactly what we want. Okay, I'm actually gonna hit these two away so you can see some more ball flights. <laughs> that launched, that did, that launched. Now, so far, I'm actually impressed in two different ways. All three have hit the fairway and have a look at these numbers here. That last one, the shortest of the lot, the second one went 279. The third shot I hit, hit 273. Okay, right. But this has really got me excited. Like, I'm actually getting some great ball speeds. 160.8, I mean, that's pretty good for me. Come on, <laughs> get me some slack. I've got layers on, all right? Um, 112 club head speed. I said I wanted it around 110. I said I wanted the ball speed around 160. Smash factor. 1.44 and I launched it around 17 degrees. That last one launched a little higher and that's maybe why it didn't go as long. Okay, so on average, we're looking around the 277 mark. So far with this driver, all three hit the fairway. Two more to go. Don't have got the idea what this feels like. It feels really stiff, sort of this part of the handle, I would say. And this bottom bit feels like it's got a little bit more kick in it. It's a strange sensation for me because it's not a shaft that I have used before. Over the last few years, I've used one of those Belchior shafts in black. And I've literally just probably taken that out of my driver and plopped it in the next driver along in, this, in terms of just the next model. Now, I, I know this is early days, but these numbers have gone down and down and down, all the way to 273. Like, I know I've got to hit the other two drivers, but I thought they would start climbing from that first one. Okay, here we go. Let's put a good swing on this, Alex. You've hit the fairway three times, but that's good. Let's get some distance on it. That's a honey of a hit, that. That's just gonna hang on to the right. Please hang on, please hang on. I just finished over that black box. Come on, though, look at this. 303 yards. 303 yards, look at that. That's what we're after. It delivered. Well, it delivered. I delivered. <laughs> Here we go. So let's talk through some of these numbers and why we saw that go up. Interestingly, 112 club head speed, launched a little lower, 161 ball speed 0.1. Again, a brilliant smash. That smash factor has been seriously high. Come on, let me show you this again. 303 yards total. Tell you what, these are the drivers. have got a lot to beat here. That's seriously impressive. Right, final one away here with a tailor-made. I'm still actually in shock, we've got 303 yards. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. Hold on. Right, okay, here we go. Final one with this ball, with this drive. Here we go, come on Alex. Oh, I don't think I got it, I really don't think. It felt a little toey. Oh. I clearly don't know where the middle of the club face is, do I? I've got terrible hat hair as well, but anyway. Right, okay, that one went 290 yards. So if we go through those balls, 282, 279, 273, 303, 290 as the final hit. So we'll also have a look at these other numbers here because that was my fastest ball speed. Spin there, 2.9, and possibly one of the reasons why it was, well, not out the toe, but actually was a little bit shorter. It spun a little bit more. But really interesting with this driver, the fact that we've got 114 miles an hour club speed, 162 ball speed, a launch around 11 degrees. I like that last launch. It was a little bit lower. I know it's gone a little shorter, but I actually feel on the golf course that would potentially roll a little bit more when it's not raining, obviously. Okay, so we've hit five away with this. Very, very impressive. Four and a half on the fairway. Let's now move into the Cobra. Again, the exact same shaft. What do you think of this one so far? 
I'm actually shocked with the accuracy and the overall distance for sure. Right, shaft on. Now, I originally tested this driver inside. So I'm gonna be really excited just to see a ball flight with it. And if it sounds any different, because often when you try a driver inside, hear me out here, it does sound different to what you feel like it sounds like out here in the lovely air. So five drives away again, just to show you, same shaft, obviously you can't miss that but we've got it set on nine degrees, nice and neutral. And what you'll notice again with this driver, exactly as we had with the QI 10 LS, we've got these weights slap bang right behind the head. So just think of it as like a sliding spectrum. The closer you put them to the head, the lower the spinning driver will be, and then therefore the less forgiveness it will have. That is the trade-off. Now, I felt bad saying this in, in sort of when I was testing it, but I seriously think, because obviously in the past, I have fully just been using Cobra. And I wanna say one thing, this is a seriously good looking driver and this is an unbiased, like I'm, I'm not attached to them, but I just feel like they've done what a lot of people didn't think they would do in the sense of everything just blacked out. And especially on this LS model where you don't have the red or you don't have the blue sort of etching around the head, you can see totally black, matte finish. It's a seriously good looking driver. How good does this driver shaft look? orange into the matte head. So the averages with the QI10 LS was 285.4 yards. So it's got a lot to beat. Longest was 303. We had a few in the middle there, didn't we, where it really needed to step up and perform. Okay, right, let's smash these away. I'm interested now. This head looks a lot more triangular than the QI10, and for sure, all of the models within this range. Oh, that felt weird. That felt weird. It sounded very dull, like there's nothing in there. 281 yards though, first one away. <laughs> that was right out the middle, that one. I've just got to show you this. Look where I hit that one there. Can you see it? You can see the mark of the T-peg and then right out the middle. And that finished 290 yards. Now that was like the last one I hit with the QI 10 LS. You see how it was a much flatter flight. And if I'm being honest, that's what I like in a driver. One that's like this, not one that's going too high too early, just because I feel even though this are low, low spinning drivers, if it is going high too much for me, it's not something that I would like to play with in the wind. And the last one prior to that went 281 yards. Okay, ball three. That's a little bit high again. Ah, I did not like that one. That missed the fairway too. It's the first miss in this test. That's a proper miss, that. Proper miss. Right. Now, it wasn't dreadful, that, in terms of yardage. Look, 281 yards. But what I'm getting with this shaft is, like I mentioned, it was quite stiff feeling around the handle. I feel I'm very susceptible to leaving that face open. But I've made my bed. I'm going to line it. I'm going to carry on doing this test with this shaft. So 281 yards. I don't feel this driver's going any shorter. And in fact, probably the average is gonna be right up there. My maths isn't good enough. Let me hit two more, get my phone out, calculate it, and I'll come back to you. We have two more to hit away with this, but it tell you what, it does get me really excited to give this one a go. I've left this till last, because I'll be honest, this is probably one of my favorites in the sense of what I'm hearing everybody say. And what I was told by a little somebody that the Callaway has been so far one of the most popular drivers and most talked about, which I found strange because I didn't expect that when I did the original testing. I'll be honest, none of these three have been on my radar until now. As you know, I was gaming the Ping and then I started gaming that Wilson driver, which is still in the bag, by the way. Okay, here we go. Two more away with the Cobra. Now that is absolutely launched. I reckon that could be one of the longest. It's gonna just hold on to that fairway. Just hold on. Yes. Oh, 273 yards. <laughs> let's have a look at that. Cause actually I'm surprised. Like let's have a look at those numbers together here. Cause when I hit that, I was like, that's long that, that's long. So you can see here, 273 yards. It hit the fairway. Still only one missed fairway. Let's have a look at these other numbers. Right, okay, interesting. Club head speed, 107.9. So actually, one of the lowest ones that I've seen being recorded between the first two drivers I've hit. Ball speed, now under 160. 
So if you think all those that I hit with the TaylorMade were all above 160, this is the first one that I've had under that. Smash was good, launch was good. Let's have a look at the spin with you though. Let's go one more up here. The most spin. Now this is really interesting. So if we're having a look at these shots here, one missed the fairway. We've got our lowest clubhead speed, our lowest ball speed, and one of our lowest set of distances with our highest spin. It's a really interesting factor. Now we're gonna hit one more, but definitely noticing a difference here because I felt like I hit them really well and it wasn't as far. That really did surprise me, you know. I thought that was gonna be long and it seriously wasn't, which has got me really thinking. Right, let's hit our final one away with this golf ball. <sighs> nah. I can tell you this, this, this combo is not good for me. Not good. Not good at all. Disappointing, not gonna lie. Because how it performed when I first tried it, I was expecting big things with this one. But that one went 272 yards for the total. Then if I go through these here, we're not going to see some good numbers here. 110 club head speed, 160 ball speed, I get that, that's fine. But the spin is so high for me with this driver. 3.7. 3.7. The tailor made was nowhere near that. So I can comfortably say right now that this driver is seriously not for me with that setup. I don't get enough ball speed, I get too much spin. It's just not a good combo. And that was 279.4 for my total average between the five drives. I also missed the fairway around three times out of five shots, which you've got to think, I only missed half a fairway in the semi with the TaylorMade. So it's time to the driver that I've seriously been looking forward to. Again, we're going to put the same shaft, make it nine degrees. This is a fair test. I'm excited because everyone's been saying big things about this driver. Let's see if everyone's right. All right, we are set up neutral, nine degrees. And you can notice here, again, I mentioned this on all of them, the weight is slap bang, or one of the weights, the heavier weight, is slap bang right behind the head to lower that spin. Now, I actually honestly think this will knock the tailor-made QI10 LS off its perch. I'm saying that and I'm saying it and thinking, Alex, could you be speaking a little bit prematurely? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But out of the first two that I've hit, let me know what you think. Also, here on How Good Golf, you control what we test next to see how good all the latest equipment is. To get down below in the comments, we've had the Lazarus hybrids be mentioned. We've had lots of other clubs that we are in the process of getting in order to be able to test here on the channel. You asked for this review, we're now on the final driver. Let's see how it goes. I said this when I tested this driver on its own. It is a mega looking club, this. The carbon gloss to the matte front is a really nice touch. And I would say down at the ball, this one looks the smallest head out of all three. So this is gonna be interesting to see how it performs. Let's go, come on. That's the feeling, Alex. Get it right. That was absolutely launched. See how I went dead straight compared to the Cobra? Dead straight. Get in there. 295, first ball away. Number two. Hang on. Hang on that fairway. Over the... Just. It's a little bit like the tailor made in the first one. Just found the fairway. Again, I was expecting big things. I've just got to show you this. First one was 295. The second ball, two. Nine, two, two nine five, two nine two. This combo looks really good. I just want to show you these numbers too before we fly through the next. One oh nine club speed, one sixty two fastest ball speed point five, and the spin's going to be spot on. Two four, promising this driver. Now I've not got over three hundred yet. We touched three oh three with the tailor made, and that will seriously affect the average. On the right edge, it's on the fairway. I feel like it could be long. It launched high though. 273, that's dropped back down. It's like deja vu with the Cobra this. When I said it was long, it then started falling off. Ball number four. It's poker straight that. That is what I love to see in the flight of a driver. Love to see it. I'm apprehensive because I don't, 293 again. Still not 300 with one ball to go. I honestly thought with how this started, we'd be over that 300. So, so far we've hit it 295, 
292, then 273, then back up to 293. Big question is, can I boost the average of getting on over 300 yards like we had with the TaylorMate? Have a look at where I struck that last one, by the way. Can you see the T-peg mark there? And come on, you can definitely see the ball in here too. Right, final ball away. That is long. That's got to be long. Look at that launch. I know the finish isn't pretty. Come on, be over 300. Nice. Take my jacket off for that one. <laughs> Look at this. 306 yards. So not only is the average going to smash them both out of the park, but that is the longest driver out of the three. 306, 303 was the longest that we had with the TaylorMade. And there's no question, we hit every single fairway. One was a bit of half, but we had that with the TaylorMade too, didn't we? 306 yards. Now, if we fly through these numbers here, 112.3 club speed, ball speed 164.4, and this spin will be absolutely bob on. 2-2 two, two spin. Come on. Well, I guess there's only one way to finish this video, isn't there? That, that This driver right here, let me get it. I mean, I didn't think much about this combo to start with, but in this, I got some serious length, the right amount of spin, and I love that penetrating ball flight. That is exactly what I've been searching for in my game. So for me, one option this year, if you're looking at an LS model, this performs like an absolute stonker. So coming in at number three was the Cobra Dark Speed at 279. Again, didn't really perform and we missed it out to the right. Then we had in second place, the TaylorMade QI10 at 285 yards on average. And finally, and I guess without really no surprise here, the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Triple Diamond Driver, 292 yards. Now I really did enjoy testing all these and making a fair test using the same shaft in every single one of these. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell. That way if you recommend me testing anything, you always get notified.